All right, good Monday morning to you. Let's get that curve in context. Let's get the very latest numbers for you. So we're going to summarize things when we're talking hospitalizations. All right, the percentage of people being hospitalized with COVID-19 actually is going down. If you're talking about percentage of people who have it versus those who are actually having to go to the hospital. But because of the continued surge of overall cases, well, the raw numbers of hospitalizations does continue to climb, and that could eventually cause some problems in part of the state, depending on bed availability. So this is the look at your curve right now. You can see anywhere between three to 500 hospitalizations at the top of this for the past couple of weeks, which means our dotted line, which is our average, our 14 day, two week moving average continues to tick upward. Let's talk Duval County though right now. Hospitals, uh, hospitalizations, I should say, are trending up very slightly right now, but not at the same clip that we were seeing in the state as a whole. Uh, you know, cases up to around 20 hospitalizations, that's the max we're seeing, but right now between five and eight perhaps per day uh, in Jacksonville. As for case totals, the curve still not quite flattening, although if you look at the last couple of days, there is a bit of a plateau. That's good news. Nothing compared to what we had right around the phase two of reopening. We were having some 40 cases per day. Um, we have the overall total now to just over 350,000 cases across the state since March. Now, thankfully, Florida's death rate is less than half of the national average when you're talking about those who come down with this and, and passing away. It's 1.4%. Katie? Let's hit your fast lane now and get you caught up on your need to know.